Hi, my name is Dashiell Manley. I'm an artist based in Los Angeles, California, and welcome to my exhibition at Silverlands Gallery. This is my first exhibition in, in Asia, and for that, I, I thought it was important to introduce a new audience to two bodies of work that, while disparate, are intrinsically linked. Due to the nature of our times right now, only half of the, the work made it to Manila, um, and the other half is, is still here with me in my studio in LA. The works installed behind me are, are part of a series of work called the Newspaper Paintings that I began in 2014 coming off the heels of a project that was shown at the 2014 Whitney Biennial. So when I started the Newspaper Works, I was looking for a way to engage in a subject matter that was both more immediate and relevant to my daily experiences and the experiences of, 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 of a possible viewership. I was interested in the newspaper, particularly the front page, as a kind of set of instructions to make a painting. That being said, I was more interested in the content of the newspaper as opposed to the iconography of the newspaper. So I began to um, use the front page uh, as a set of instructions to, to make paintings. I transcribed all of the textual information on the front page onto a canvas and I worked in four directions. And so when I would cover up the, the entire canvas in one direction, um, I would wash out the canvas using a brush and water um, to kind of give myself a not so clean slate to begin uh, transcribing again. Um, so the, the, the finished paintings had all of the textual information on the front of, of, of specific day's front page written in all four directions. Um, and, and I was really less interested in, you know, the viewer reading the, the, the text on the, in, in the painting. Um, in, instead of that, I was interested in the viewer kind of taking in all of that information at one time, almost like being kind of struck with the information one second you, you, you don't have it, and the next second you have it. So instead of, of, of wanting the viewer to kind of learn uh, about what was, what, what was happening, I was more interested in, in the viewer having an emotional experience with that information. You know, when I was thinking about the, the show in Manila, um, it, it seemed important to use a source, use source material or a source newspaper that was specific to the Philippines, or, or at least specific to South Asia. And um, so the, the, the works in the exhibition used, used Rappler.com. Um, and that also kind of allows me to highlight or, or engage with an aspect of this work that, that, that I also think is important. And that's the kind of idea of site specificity, and this, particularly the site specificity of news. Um, and perspective, the perspective of news. So one of the aspects of um, the newspaper works, the Rappler works, for the Silverlands exhibition um, that's different from how they've kind of existed or, or been made in the past is the inclusion of these kind of colored rectangles um, on either side of, or sometimes top and bottom of the work. So the source publication and the date of publication, in some cases the title of the article, were included on, on, on either side of the painting. Um, that said, you know, I, I didn't want that information to distract the, the viewer from this kind of emotional experience that, I'm, I'm, um, that I want the, the viewer to have. So I, I decided to redact that information. Um, so in the four works that are in the Silverland show, that information is redacted with silver rectangles. So I started the Elegy paintings in late 2014, early 2015, 
And they really started less as a project and more as a kind of exercise in the studio to shed myself of um, the information contained in the newspaper works. So early on for the first year, maybe 18 months of that project, there, there really was a direct kind of one-to-one -one relationship between newspaper work and elegy painting. In other words, I would make a newspaper work and in order to kind of stop thinking about the news that was in the newspaper work, I would make an elegy painting and kind of meditate it out of me. As a result of, of, of making these works for the last um, six years now, uh, there are new kind of threads that have been teased out specific to the elegy paintings, um, specific to, to, to specific elegy paintings. So, you know, one of the ideas I've, I've, I've kind of returned to, and this is an idea from my experimental filmmaking days, is the idea of suspension of disbelief. Um, and so I started considering um, the kind of idea of, of, of landscape painting in relationship to the elegy works. And I started thinking about theoretical landscapes and what it would mean to make a painting, call it a landscape painting, and yet have the landscape in question or the landscape in reference not be physical but be psychological. I think something similar is happening now in regards to, to kind of what we're asking of viewers, how we're asking viewers to suspend their disbelief. You know, given that this exhibition is taking place in two completely different geographical locations. The works that were meant to be shown together to speak to one another now have to speak to one another with thousands of miles in between them. And so I suppose that, you know, I'm making a huge ask of the viewers of this exhibition to suspend your disbelief, to, to, to watch this video and take in the, the works, take in the images of the works, and then, you know, close your eyes and imagine that they're all in the same room with you.